Upon a lofty throne I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison. Behold him the name of whose empire is eternal. We offer this morning's Eucharist for the repose souls of Rita Ko, Lucas Chin, Eugene Ong, Bill Martinus, Maria Lim, and members of the Go family, and Aloysius Anthony. For the special intentions of Alex Tu, Jasmine and Christopher Bowman, Amy Lee, Teresa Ui, and for Zach. And in thanksgiving by Andrew Yap and family, John Ng, Mark Stephen and Amy and family, Magdalene Chiang, and we pray for the intentions of the nation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Acknowledging our human weakness, for at times we may fail to see the unclean spirits in us, seated deep in our lives. Let us ask the Lord for his grace to purify our minds and our hearts by calling to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. God did not appoint angels to be the rulers of the world to come. And that world is what we are talking about. Somewhere there is a passage that has shown us this. It runs. What is man that you should spare a thought for him? The son of man that you should care for him? For a short while, you made him lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and splendor. You have put him in command of everything. Well then, if he has been put him in command of everything, he has nothing left which is not under his command. At present, it is true we are not able to see that everything has been put under his command. But we do see in Jesus, one who was for a short while made lower than the angels and is now ground with glory and splendor because he submitted to death. By God's grace, he had to experience death for all mankind. And this was his purpose to bring a great many of his sons into glory. It was appropriate that God 
for whom everything exists and through whom everything exists, should meet perfect through suffering, the leader who would take them to their salvation. For the one who sanctify and the one who are sanctified are of the same stock. That is why we, he openly calls them brothers in the text. I shall announce your name to my brothers. Praise you in full assembly. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You gave your son power over the works of your hand. You, you gave, gave your son power over the works, works of your hand. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. What is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? You, you gave, gave your son power over the, the works of your hand. Yet you made him little less than a god. With glory and honour you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. You gave, you gave your son power over the god. works of your hand. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that made their way through the waters. You gave your Can son power, power over the over works the of your hand. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Accept God's message for what it really is, God's message, and not some human thinking. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. o Lord. Jesus and his disciples went as far as Capernaum. And as soon as Sabbath came, he went to the synagogue and began to teach. And his teaching made a deep impression on them because unlike the scribes, he taught them with authority. In the synagogue just then, there was a man possessed by an unclean spirit, and it shouted, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus said sharply, Be quiet. Come out of him. And the unclean spirit threw the man into convulsions and with a loud cry went out of him. The people were so astonished that they started asking each other what it all meant. Here is a teaching that is new, they said, and with authority behind it. He gives order even to the unclean spirits and obey him. And his reputation rapidly spread everywhere through all the surrounding Galilean countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Yesterday we were at the Sea of Galilee. The call, the vocations of Peter and Andrew and the Zebedee brothers. John and James. They left their nets and they followed Jesus. Today we find ourselves at Kafanam in the public ministry of Jesus, and it's at the synagogue. Just to refresh your thoughts this morning, the synagogue is totally different from the temple. The synagogue is a place where the rabbis gathers to teach, to preach the word, the scriptures. 
And so the audience who were gathered in the synagogue were attentive to the teachings. And Jesus began to teach today in his ministry about repentance, about belief, and the kingdom of God. But in the midst of this mission, in this ministry, he was confronted by a man with unclean spirits. There are days that you and I, in the mission or in the ministries that we are reaching out, be it in our BCs, be it in our community, be it in our parish ministries, there will be some moments that you and I will find ourselves being confronted. We will be challenged. We will be questioned. As Jesus was questioned today, who are you? Where do you come from? But most importantly is Jesus spoke with great authority today because as we look at the baptism of Jesus, of the opening of the clouds, the authority was given to him. You are my son, the beloved. My favor rests on you. And I spoke that at each of our baptism, at every moment of our baptism, God's grace takes over us. It is nothing about us. It is always about God's grace at work in us. And God's grace was at work in today's gospel. Because as the letter of Hebrews says, Every moment of that command is given from God. Every authority is given from God. Every mission and ministry of that authority or command comes from God. But the ultimate end of that mission and that ministry is to bring the community together. Is to bring the sisters and the brothers together, as the Hebrews would say in his letter today. It is important for us to look at our experiences today how we handle moments of struggle and pain, moments of challenged, challenging moments. Because the whole ultimate goal is not a single personal pilgrimage, but the community of inserting people back as one family. They were astonished by Jesus. They were captivated by Jesus because everything he did was from above. And that is God's grace. Let us ask the Lord in our mission, in our ministries, in our work, in our daily experiences, that everything we do ultimately flows from God and returns to God as one community. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands, have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. True Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, Father, with angels and saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and Saint John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins upon the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. With you, O Lord, is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your God. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer for all. God, God our merciful Father, Father source, source of healing, cast the light of health and well-being, on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease, bless them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude, that their work yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old, God of the present moment, Bring hope, Bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day and do stay safe. Same, Same to you, Father. Father.